First, I want to start off and say that uh, uh, I want to congratulate Coach Solich and his staff on a on really a tremendous year. Uh, they, they, they competed hard tonight, um, and, and they've been in a, uh, a ridiculous number of, of close games, and we didn't feel good about that one until the very end. Um, they competed hard. We're extremely proud of our guys. Uh, tonight, was, in a lot of ways, was a microcosm of our season. We're sitting here 10-3, and, three, and, and, and quite honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't always pretty. We've won a bunch of different ways. Uh, tonight we came out and, and we're really in a flow offensively and kind of get a freak, uh, kind of a freak deflection that ends up being a, a touchdown. And we and then we gave them gave them some some yardage with penalties, but offensively really moved the ball. Defensively gave up a bunch of yardage in the first half. Then we come out in the second half and we struggle offensively, but defensively we're able to create a turnover that really was the was a change in the game. Um, but I can't say enough. Thought we showed up well. Troy represented well. Um, very proud to represent the Sun Belt Conference. I think we're, we're I think we're four and one in bowl games right now as we stand, which speaks to the to the level of play in our conference. And this is a big win. Now this is the first time in Troy's Division One history that we've won ten games, and and that's something that the sixteen seniors on our football team will always be proud of. And with that, I'll open it up to questions. That's huge. You know, I, I was talking to our radio guy, uh, Jerry Miller, before the game. He said, what's the, what's the key to it? And I think I probably said it to a lot of you all uh, as we went through the week. I felt like in these bowl games, you know, very seldom do you see really clean football games and bowl games. You know, and the reason is, you know, we've had three weeks. And people don't think about there's a lot of travel involved. There's finals involved in that. There's some dead time that's usually not the case during the regular season. But I always feel like it comes down to special teams and turnover margin. And we won the turnover margin, and we were able to turn those uh, – and we, we really should have turned off five of them into some points. Um, missed, missed a chip shot there. But we were able to turn three of them into touchdowns, and, and without, a, without a question, thought our defense set us up on a, on a short field a lot tonight. And we've won, we've won that way. Uh, we've got some really good top-end players on offense, and Brandon Silvers and Jordan Chun, and our left tackle, Antonio Garcia. But we've really won this year with defense and special teams. Well, I think, you know, and, and I'm partial, but that was a huge key uh, when, I was, when I was able to get this job and, uh, is to, to hire Vic Coney. You know, he's done it. He, you look at his track record, it's really impressive. If you look at the defensive turnaround we've had in, in, the, in the two years, i got to be careful not to over-market him before I lose him, okay? But, uh, but if you look at the turnaround that we've had in a two-year span, it's remarkable. It really is. Uh, if you look at us across the board from last season, 2015 to 2016, you do a statistical comparison, the amount of improvement we've had across the board, but in particular on defense. You know, what he does is he creates tackles for loss. He creates sacks. Um, and, and our guys play with an edge on defense. And that's what we did. We went on that run. You know, we had five, you know, we won five conference championships. We went on that run. And he's brought that edge back to our defense. So I can't speak to, to him and our defense staff enough. Well, you know, in the first half, offensively, we were in a rhythm. You know, we had – I think we only punted one time, maybe in the first – maybe two, because we didn't, we didn't execute the end of the end of the half there. But, uh, you know, defensively, I thought we had to settle them down at half, you know, because we gave up some passing yardage. They, they, they had a good game plan. You know, let me say this. Ohio is well coached. Defensively, Jimmy Burrow, Burrow does a great job, all right, and, and they do a great job. Alvin does a great job on, on offense. And they came in and really surprised us. You know, they hadn't, they hadn't been a throw team all year. You know, and they came in and, and really uh, throw the ball 47 times. You know, I haven't done the math, but I don't know when the last time Ohio threw for 47, for 47 attempts. Uh, but I bet it's been a while. So we, it took us a little bit to, to regroup from that. But in the second half, we did give up some pass plays, but we got a lot of pressure on the quarterback. And that says we only had two sacks, but I know we had a lot of hits on him as well. Well, we made, we made some changes. We flipped him and played him at outside receiver for the first time all season. Twelve games he played inside, and uh, we felt like we needed some more speed on the outside, so we, we slid him out to the outside receiver for this game and, and made a huge play, set up the game. And, and I thought that was big because I haven't looked at it. I just got this stat sheet, but I don't believe we ever trailed in the game. Okay, and, and when you hit a big play early on like that, um, it's, it's a huge help. He had a great month of December. 
okay, from, from after our Georgia Southern game on. He practiced well, and it was big to him. You know, he's got two years left, true sophomore. You know, he, uh, he had, he's only been through one offseason. He showed up first day of practice in 2015. Yeah, we, that that was our plan. You know, that was our plan. We, you know, myself, I, I did not do a very good job in our Georgia Southern game stretching the field, and we we wanted to come in this game and attack. You know, I thought we played on our heels a little bit toward the end of the regular season, and and our mantra all all during this bowl prep was attack. And I think you you got to talk about you want to talk about attacking, but you got to show them. And if you look at what we did defensively, uh, we 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 had pressure early in the game. We went we went up top on the very first play, so we wanted to show our kids that we were in attack mode, and and that's what that was our thought process. They're really good, uh, and they're rushing defense, you know. And and Chun Jordan Chun's not at full speed. You know, the guy that y'all saw tonight is not who he is. Um, he's a guy that I think is fully capable of being back here and playing in the Senior Bowl next January. He's been beat up, really been beat up since our App State game. But their rushing defense is really good. And we knew we were going to have to come in and throw it. And uh, they get after the passer. I know they had one sack on us, but Brandon got hit, uh, got hit quite a bit. What about Emmanuel? I know he was banged up heading to this game as well. Just yeah. Well, let, me, let me tell you about Emmanuel Thompson. That dude's tough. He's tough. And, and – he broke his arm against Georgia Southern. Broke his arm. That's December 3rd. Is that right, Adam? I think it's December 3rd, the game. All right, so today's the 23rd. He practiced a week ago Thursday. A week ago. He, he broke his arm th on, on, a, on a Saturday on the 3rd, last series of the game against Georgia Southern. Had surgery that Tuesday, and he practiced, you know, a little more, more in a week after, man. Kid's tough. Um, local guy that's made a ton of plays for us. And uh, – you know, he's kind of the heart and soul of our offense. A couple more. What about the interception by Lucas? He pretty much took it out of the quarterback. That was a great play. I'll be disappointed if that's not one. You know how they do the uh, top ten plays into bowl season? You know, that, that was tremendous. I can't say enough. For him to come, this is a guy that uh, – Justin Lucas is a guy, he was the very first signee I had as a head football coach. You never forget that. Very first signee as I had. I had as, he was the first guy that believed in, in what we were trying to do. He's the first guy, comes, he came from East Mississippi Junior College, and they'd coming off two national championships. He was all about winning, and he's a winner. And for him to come up huge in this game, his last game as a Troy Trojan, I can't tell you how proud I am of him. All right, thank you all. Appreciate y'all being here. We've had a great week in the city of Mobile. Appreciate the bowl committee. That uh, tremendous week. Thank you all.